Hi, welcome back to The Healer, The Oracle. I'm Serenity, and I'm going to be pulling your cards about your energy currently, especially with the Schumann resonance going on. So you're definitely going to want to check out to the end of the video because I don't know what's going to come up. Let's see what's going on with my seven energy oracle. One just fell out already. It's going to be quite the quite the day that goes, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Back of the deck, you're looking at willing release, okay? That's beautiful. It's the same card as, uh, color as my tapestry. But willing release is all about surrendering, letting go of the control aspect, the ways of which it all has come to be thus far. We don't know what's kind of happening right now. And you don't know where your future is going to go. So right off the bat, I got six. It is, it is what it is, okay? Right off the bat, I can see that we are crossing this bridge, okay? Wherever we are now, we are stepping into something new. There is kind of this unknown because there isn't really anywhere else to go but this direct path. So if you are not aligned with this timeline, with this path right now, you could be thrown for a new one because you could be dealing with confusion or any type of fogginess, haziness um, in the brain space. I suggest that you um, let go of certain things. Um, giving, whether it be giving away stuff, whether it be putting away stuff in your room, cleaning up the house, um, sweeping, uh, I'm hearing washing, washing maybe laundry. Um, it's like a, it's wiping too. I don't know what you need to do, but spirit is asking you to make room for the new, okay? Because this new door, this portal is going to take you into things that you didn't even know before, right? I don't know what this one is. <laughs> 44, Divine Matrix. This is divine timing at its finest. So this door, I don't know if you can see this like circle. Look at that, right? Right? Trippy, right? Okay, <laughs> but I'm seeing all these different symbols, all these different runes is what I'm kind of hearing. Um, there is that expansion of consciousness. You're connected to everything that is abundant, everything that is oneness. There is that aspect of everything that you've been receiving as downloads is actually coming to fruition. So if you're trying to give up on, you know, for Twin Flames, if you're giving up on your journey, for you might be presented with third parties or karmics at this time as well so be careful with that um job opportunities if you're trying to go back to work because you know your business isn't exactly where it is, needs to be or if you are trying to kind of like leap off of what the universe has given you signs about time and time again this is your this is your card okay 44 is a number i can't reduce it's a master number it's a very high vibrational card and the other three that i have we're going with shining through. So 30 was shining your light. This also kind of ties into the energy of the other cards, but it came alone in its own sector. These two came alone and now I have this whole collection. So shining through is all about shining your light. If you have gifts, if you are a healer, if you are you know, a Reiki master, or even just interested in Reiki, if you are a card reader, if you really just like healing people through your words and just being around people and you live a normal life, that's cool too. If you have some type of gift, you're being called upon to share it. It could be a creative gift. Typically, these are creative gifts. But do what makes your soul happy. It will guide you through these times, okay? <laughs> 19, Waking the Lion, okay? This is a New Beginnings card. This is all about, oh, there's Leo energy in this card. Um, like, very strongly. I'm like, mm. But it's all about doing what you need to do with confidence, with strength, with a healthy sense of pride, with a clearer viewpoint of ego, because you do need ego to be able to be like, yeah, I'm good at what I do, sense of self, you know? But it's about a balance, right? And you're using both halves of your brain to be able to create. You're balancing divine masculine and feminine energy in order to be. And this is going to help you on your endeavors, okay? I'm also looking at sacral energy. Um, I do see root right here, even though it is orange. I did see root for a split second. Um, we're also looking at solar plexus energy. So be mindful of balancing that all out, especially with the other card kind of being the other half of those energies, um, half of those chakras. Please, please, please do so. Um... Somebody here is going to be successful. I, this card screams wealth to me. Wealth in, you know, love. Wealth in relationships with other people. Wealth in self-love. Wealth in, um, 
actual monetary value or material value, but I feel it already. This might have already been installed for you. I feel like a lot of these things are already in your life. It's just a matter of realizing it or continuing on with it. Last card is Spirit of Gratitude. Okay, so this is a stillness card. This is very much a stillness card. This card, again, you see that little circle? Ties into this one. Ties into this one. So we're being asked, this is your ticket. This is your golden ticket, okay? You're being asked to be grateful about everything in your life right now and everything that is around you because every little detail, every detail, right all the way down to your breath, is actually what is abundant to you at this time. So you may not necessarily see everything. You might not see where you're going. You might not know your next steps. But if you take time in the moment to just enjoy them, no matter what they are, you will be brought so much further ahead and so much more quickly than if you go ahead and, you know, aren't in this state of abundant gratitude, okay? Um, yeah, this is about connecting your third eye with your crown. I'm not sure if you see, but I think this looks like a mug in a way, but it's actually a head. Um, and eyes are here, but it's your third eye and your crown. And it's so open. And because of that gratitude, you're receiving downloads, you're receiving blessings, you're receiving gifts, okay? I want to see just what's on the back of the deck for you. Yeah, so by willing release, that we saw here, I then have imperfect harmony. Okay, that's the divine timing aspect. It's an 11. So that 44 with the divine matrix card with the 11. It's more of a confirmation. I don't know how much clearer I can get with that one. Um, and then I have grateful with a four. So it's also a life path number of the fact that you are actually doing the work, that you are driven, that you are ambitious, but it's all like aligned and connected. Like you're going to get there. It's just about time. This is stillness for me. It's about that like, moment i don't know if anybody kind of resonated with that but that's what i was getting um in my eye butterflies might be relevant to you um but it's like that moment when you blow on these guys where it's like magical there's just so many opportunities there in so many different directions and depending on which one you look at that's where your focus is gonna go right so they're asking you just to surrender and just be with the breeze and with the wind and allow it all just to unfold as it's meant to be yeah, and then land in between, which is another four. Some of you guys might feel this here. It's a void state. Um, and it is, I see that some of you think that this is gonna be a thing, but they're asking you to do this kind of detour path because you have so much more to learn and so much more to grow and Maybe you're like here, maybe you're over here and you have like three steps left. It really depends. But this card is letting me know that like this direct path that you think you're gonna get might not be a thing, but learning all these things is really going to help you get where you want it to go anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but you need to allow yourself to either take two steps back and go down the other road, or you need to um, recognize where you're at in your journey and how it's becoming a full circle. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I hope that was helpful. As always, if you do want a personalized reading from me to dig down into what's actually going on in your life and how to get through those things, please let me know. I love doing them. Um, that is found through my link in my bio or on my channel page. And then if you wanna check in with all my other endeavors, by all means, I'm just a creative multidisciplinary artist. So check it out. As always, I hope you heal and have a great rest of your day. Yes, I will see you on Thursday. Bye.